oh, I just did that really loud slurp of a tea. You know how annoying it is if you're sat next to someone like on a train and they're like, <laughs> when they drink their tea. I just did that, so sorry. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're joining me for the first time, I always say if you're joining me for the first time, then thanks. <laughs> but really, thank you. If you're joining me for the first time, I don't know how you found me, how you found this channel, but I am fairly recent to the whole YouTube game in terms of doing videos myself. So it's all quite new to me. Your feedback's really important and I just love the fact that you guys are subscribing to my channel and actually want to see my content, which I think is incredible. So I love filming these videos for you guys. Even when I'm sick and poorly, I will not let it defeat me because I love just the fact that I can literally be in my comfies, hair up, kind of up, like in plaits or whatever, when I'm poorly, not much makeup, working from home, and yet I'm doing something that I enjoy so, so much, and I love the fact that you guys comment such nice things on every single video, so thank you so, so much. If you're not joining me for the first time and you have been here before, then like I said, thank you for your support, and let's get started with the video. So today I'm gonna to be doing a bit of a combined haul. I have a few clothing items and a few homeware pieces. So actually one of them um, is a homeware piece that I've bought and I've been saving for this video and Tom is begging me to just get it out and use it and I'm like, no, I've gotta save it for the video. So I thought, why not delay, sit down, film this video and then he can use it as much as he likes. So um, yeah, I'm gonna jump in with TK Maxx, which is where the item's from. So I might as well show you that item first. And it is this teapot. So we have recently, well more so Tom, has recently been enjoying loose leaf tea. So I have got this tea, tea, TK Maxx. So I have got this teapot from TK Maxx. They are cast iron, like traditional. I love the style of it. I love the look of it. It's got this gorgeous little um, like pattern on the side, so you can see there. It's a very heavy, very like heavy duty teapot. They had some smaller ones available, which was pretty much half the size of this. Um, priced, I think they were twelve ninety nine, and these ones were nineteen ninety nine. So I think these ones can fit maybe about six cups of tea per teapot, something like that. So anyway, it's got the little strainer on the inside, the lid there, like I said, very heavy, very well made. They had lots of different colours, but um, if you know me, black and white, greys are pretty much my staples. So um, likewise with him, he wanted a black one. He was looking at some online that was so expensive and I was like, Tom? TK Maxx has got some. So pick this up, he loves it, I love it, and now he can go and use it all he likes because I've shown it to you guys. I also picked up two other things from TK Maxx. The first being this cute little photo holder, or it can be any kind of a document holder. So it splits in the middle there, if you can see, whereby you can just slot a photo in it. So I'm thinking of having this um, I love like the geometric kind of design to it. So I'm thinking of maybe printing out like a Polaroid or something, maybe an Instagram picture or something like a picture of me and Tom or even a quote or something like that. Just having it freestanding. If you've been following me for a while and have noticed in my videos, I've been kind of collecting a few pieces for, I have this vision which I've stolen from Pinterest, I'm not going to lie, I did steal it from Pinterest, I'll put the picture of what I'm talking about here somewhere. It's basically a grey bookshelf but designed with like different kind of ornaments and different books and all different things, candles maybe. So I'm thinking of putting this in one of the holes with like a little picture just to make it a bit more homely. I really like this. It was only £1.99 um, and like I say it's kind, kind of going to be like a monochrome, mostly monochrome bookshelf. I just really like the look of it. I think it looks so nice and um, we've got a spot in our front room so I'm thinking of that and kind of collecting things for it. I need to actually get the bookshelf. <laughs> but um, yeah, this was only £1.99, reduced from £7. I think that's quite a pricey thing for £7. Although it is something you'd probably see in like Urban Outfitters for about that. So um, yeah, £1.99 with a little print in. I think that's really cute. And I also picked up this which I was so glad I found. And it is... Jordan's Skinny Syrups, zero calories, zero sugar, sugar-free pumpkin spice, <laughs> pumpkin spice syrup, which 
I love pumpkin spice lattes. I wait for them all year and as soon as they come out, I overdo it a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. However, the calorie content in the Starbucks one is not something I'm proud of, um, especially as I have like one a week, something like that. Um, but I wanted to try this. It was only £3.99. And um, yeah, it's just essentially a pumpkin spice syrup that you can put in your coffee. So hopefully this is gonna be groundbreaking and I can make my own pumpkin spice lattes whenever I want, instead of just waiting for the Starbucks ones. Um, they have obviously got a picture with all the whipped cream and everything on top. So it's skinny, but can still be a little bit naughty if you've got the whipped cream as well. It'd be so easy to get a pumpkin spice syrup in America, but in England, it's harder. I've tried. So when I saw this, I was like, yes, they had lots of different flavours as well. Um, but yeah, the only thing I will say about uh, TK Maxx food products is I always check the expiry date because sometimes they don't last that long. But this is Best Buy uh, 26th of June 2019. You can tell it's American because the date's written 062619. So obviously it's an American product. 26th of June 2019, it's gonna be gone by then. Uh, but yeah, pick that up. That was a lot of talking for a pumpkin spice syrup. <laughs> Sticking with the coffee theme, I have actually used this, but I brought it back up to show you guys. It is the um, ground, it's ground coffee. They have loads of different flavors in this and I picked up the old fashioned donut one. So if you're a Zoella vlog lover like I am, she's constantly making like really warm drinks and cozy kind of festive um, flavors like this. So obviously last time I was in TK Maxx, I had to just go and see what flavors they had. They actually only had French vanilla when I was there, which I'm not a massive fan of vanilla coffee. It's okay, but I probably wouldn't reach for it. But I wanted to try um, either like a cinnamon bun or something like that. And when I saw the old fashioned donut, love these. So tried it out. Flavor is actually very subtle. I'm also still getting used to using our cafetiere because I'm not a pro at it. So I need to certainly learn how to use it and use it properly. Um, so the flavor was quite watered down for me. It wasn't that strong, where, whereas I like a strong coffee. So maybe I just need to like leave it to brew a little bit longer before I push it down. Don't know. Let me know your tips and tricks on how to use a good cafetiere and I will make a good coffee. This was £5.99, again, another American product because the best before date says um, 4th, 30th, 18th. So obviously 30th of um, January, February, March, April. <laughs> 30th of April 2018, this one expires. I also saw these in the homeware section of TK Maxx and was thinking along the lines of my grey monochrome bookshelf. I loved the look of these. They were only £5.99 um, for four of these glass kind of bottles, which this one's like a frosted grey. You've got a frosted white here, a muted kind of grey black, and then like a see-through glass black. I love these, how cute are these? These were just like um, some eucalyptus in it or something very simple, love them. Or even just like freestanding by themselves. I think they can really like dress up this bookshelf idea that I've got going on in my head. So yeah, I had to pick these up. They actually had quite a few available. So obviously I only wanted to get one. If they are online, obviously I'll list them below as well, but quite often TK Maxx online isn't the same kind of stock that you get in store. So yeah, 5 99 love these. Another addition to my gray monochrome bookshelf that I've got, um, like I said, I've been collecting up quite a few different monochrome books and I can spot them up there myself. I've got lots of different types. I've got that big Tom Ford one, which I also got from HomeSense, uh, a Vivian Westwood one, which again was TK Maxx, one called Concrete, the fashion book, Natural Easter Cookbook, they're all pretty much from TK Maxx and HomeSense. I just kind of like have, keep my eye out for them whenever I go into a TK Maxx or HomeSense just to see if there's any either in the clearance or something that's of interest to me. And this is one of them. It's the Healthy Model Cookbook. So as you can see, the bind and everything is all white and minimal in design, which I love. It's written by Sarah Todd. There's a hundred delicious recipes to boost your beauty and vitality. So I love the fact that this cookbook has got a little something different about it because it helps you, um, all the ingredients and the recipes that they use are all to benefit like your skin and natural beauty. Love that. 
and it was only, you can see there, it was only a pound. Reduced from, is that 14.99? No, RRP was 16.99. And then yeah, so for a pound, I think this is a good buy. This is what I mean by I keep my eyes out for books like this and additions to my bookshelf. Books that look pretty, I know that's ridiculous to say, but it's also, you know, books that have some kind of an interest to me as well. So um, love that and only a pound. So that is all the homeware pieces that I picked up. I also picked up one more item from TK Maxx, which is a dress, which I'll show you now, along with a couple of other brands for clothing. So moving on to clothing. This uh, dress that I got from TK Maxx, I've spotted in there quite a few times in the past but not decided to get it for whatever reason and now that it was reduced in the sale to only £3, I was like I can't resist, not I can't not get that. Um, it is definitely more suited to summer springtime but it's just this plain white dress off the shoulder, a nice long length which is good for me because then if I wanted to wear a waist belt with it I could. And then on the sleeves, it's got this little cuff detailing here, which, oh my god, this needs a, an iron desperately. But yeah, I thought I would put this away and save it for summer springtime for just £3. I think it's a steal. And speaking of bargain clothing items, I put in another order with everything5pounds.com. If you didn't see my previous haul, which was dedicated just to everything5pounds.com, I did quite a big haul with them. Um, I'll leave it linked below in case you're interested. It's a brand I would definitely recommend shopping on. I think you pick up some great finds and great bargains. Quite a few people liked that video as well. It seems to be quite a popular video, everything5pounds.com. So I definitely want to do more hauls from them in the future. However, I did just pick up four pieces this time. Um, so I will show you what I got. Did I get four or more? I can't remember. I'm literally just opening it because it's just arrived this morning. So, um... All of these items were £5, and I'm not going to say obviously because they do actually have different priced items on there. They have like a designer collection or area where you can shop higher priced items. And then they also have quite often a very big sale on of £2.50 items, which some of those are just as good as the £5, so definitely check that out. Um, so this was really cute. I love the feel of it. It's from a brand called Miss Coo got it in a size small and it's essentially a little like stone beige coloured um what do you call this like a pinafore dress what do they what do you call these so my idea is to wear this with like a long sleeved maybe not oversized maybe one that's like not fitted to my skin but you know that's more fitted like a cream or white long sleeve maybe high neck as well um top underneath bit of leg poking out and then my camel over the knee suede boots i think that's going to be a really cute little kitsch outfit is that the right word to describe it cute little outfit perfect for autumn on these sunny days like today when it's still a little bit cold and you want to be like covered but with that pop of leg showing i think that could be a really cute outfit to go for like breakfast in or shopping in but yeah love this and um, I will leave it listed below along with a discount code that I have for you guys which is just the number five followed by Freya in capital letters without any spaces. Again, I'll leave it below for you in case you're interested in shopping everything5pounds.com. Don't forget to use that discount code for a little bit more money off. Um, so yeah, great bargain. Love that. What is this? Ah, yes. Uh, oh, I don't like the colour on the inside. Never mind. Okay, so next up, I picked up this, which I thought was great value for money. It's a black gilet, which is like a staple for me at this time of the year. It's got a fur hood. The only thing I don't, not massive fan of is the colour on the inside, this pink colour. But, um, you know, if it had been cream or something, I would have really loved it. But the fact that it's pink, it's just something that's going to be worn on, like, country walks, something like that. I've got a Jack Wills one, which I love, but it's in, like, a charcoal kind of navy colour. So I was on the lookout for a black one anyway. For £5, for a really good, thick quality gilet, I think is amazing. The hood is detachable as well, so it's got a zip on there if you did want to take that off. And then on the inside, the design is, if I just show you, it's like this pinstriped white and navy satin kind of material, which obviously you're not going to see, but you know, just in case you wanted to know, that's what it looks like on the inside. 
I think I'd quite like this actually with the hood detached. It's something that that pink is just a bit garish for me personally. I'm not a big fan of baby pink. They did have other colours available as well. I think they had like a red, a blue, a green. Um, what else did they have? I can't remember, but again, I'll leave it listed below for you. And for £5, I think that's just amazing. And again, don't forget that code, 5 Freya, if you want even more money off. Um, and if you're in the market for a Gilo, I think it's good. It feels just as thick as my Jack Wills one, which is, um, you know, £5 is a fraction of Jack Wills prices. So it's definitely something that I would say is well worth the money. And yeah, I love it. It's so warm and cozy. So this is the first kind of corduroy item that I've owned. So I picked up these leggings. They're from a brand called Style & Co. They are in this kind of like brownie taupe beige kind of colour. They're really, really soft. Hopefully these are going to fit. They look a little bit on the big side. I'll probably get them on and they'll be too small, which is going to be embarrassing. <laughs> but no, they look all right. Um, I think it's the fact that they're not as high-waisted as I usually would go for um, because then the waist is a lot smaller. So it feels like it looks a little bit big. They stretch quite a lot as well. They give quite a lot. So I got these in a size 10. They feel nice and thick, which for a legging, you know that I look for in um, leggings. I like thick quality, good quality leggings that you'd feel comfortable with just wearing like either a crop jumper or a jumper that doesn't have to cover your bum the whole time. So yeah, it's got pockets on the back as if they're like jeggings more than leggings. This is the last item I picked up. It's well wrapped. Yes, love this. I was a bit unsure about this one because like I was saying earlier about colour and me being more of a um, monochrome kind of lover, loving the neutrals as opposed to a bright colour. I thought I would go out of my comfort zone and get this bag because it was so affordable. Five pounds for a Chanel, not Chanel, Chloe type dupe bag um, in this red colour. Now they did actually have neutral colours. They did have a black. I think they had like a grey and a beige and everything like that. So colours that I would go for. But because I already have handbags and lots of them in those kind of colours, I thought uh, most of my clothes and most of the clothes that I feel comfortable in and that I tend to pick out more often are the neutral colours. So to wear like an all monotone outfit, maybe white in summer or black in winter or even like greys, and then a pop of colour with a handbag, I thought would be really nice. Look at that, the sun's shining on it. It's a sign that it's like made in heaven. It's got a nice long shoulder strap with it there as well. It's definitely not a stark red like in your face. It's more of a muted burgundy kind of colour, which I think would be great for this kind of time of the year, the autumn season. Oh, that sun's going to get a bit annoying. Right, I'm just going to move up a little bit so that the sun is not in my face. So hopefully that's not too annoying for you that I've changed it up a little bit. Um, right, okay, so final items that I got are from a brand called, let me get this right, Lupsona. I hope that's how you pronounce it. Uh, they very kindly got in touch and wanted to send me a few bits. They are an overseas brand, I believe based in China. So they are more affordable, but the shipping time can take a while. I received this a few days ago and I have actually tried on the items and do really like them. So I wanted to show you what they sent me. And that is the brand. So if you shop this brand, don't forget to use this hashtag Lupsona Style, and that's their website as well. All of their socials I'll leave below. And yeah, this is the first item that I got. It is a cropped kind of jumper sweater in white with this little cute little saying on the front, boy bye, which is like everywhere at the minute, either bye boy or boy bye. It's pretty much on all of like misguided pretty little thing, those kind of websites I've seen it on. So love that, I thought it was really cute and I got it in a size large to be a bit sort of oversized because of the crop there as well, I didn't want it to be like a drastic crop. The sleeves are quite nice and big and they've got this cute little ribbon detailing on the ends. I love the fit of this, I love the fact that it's a bit more oversized, I mean I did get it in a large but it is a bit more oversized and just comfortable fitting, comfortable fitting as opposed to being fitted if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, love this. I'll leave all the information and pricing and everything below for you. Boy, bye. The next item, okay, love, in fact I've got the price in front of me, what am I doing? I can tell you how much they are. That boy, bye sweatshirt is was $20.99 and this is US dollars. 
Um, so yeah, I totally forgot that I've put them right in front of me so I can't forget because I prefer watching videos where the person filming mentions the price so um and I noticed that I don't do that very often so I'm going to try and do it more so yeah that was $20.99 this next one is a really cute very my style because it's off the shoulder it's nice and like fitted along the sleeves with a little cuff stretchy detailing there and then this corset style front which you'll know I love so it's not drastically cropped but because it's quite tight here, or not like uncomfortably tight, but you know, fitted uh, along the body, it just crops it a little bit. So pair this with like high-waisted jeans and I think it would be a fab, cute little outfit. And this was, let me check the price in front of me here. This was $17.99, which I think is great value. I will say, uh, compared to a lot of Asian brands or Asian-based brands that I've tried in the past, I was very impressed with the quality from this brand. Um, it's something that usually is more hit and miss, but pretty much, in fact, yeah, everything that I got here, I really liked the quality of, so I will just praise them for that. Um, yeah, love this, so cute, so me, and let me know what you think. Okay, so next item is this, I love this again. It's a high-necked um, lace, top essentially it's a little bit cropped not drastically um, and then it's got nice long sleeves as well with a kind of slight bell shape to them I'm just going to move this around a little bit more because that sun is creeping around um, so yeah love the quality of this love the um, like that lace kind of crochet effect this paired with a little white lace bralette or nude lace bralette underneath I think look, would look so cute it also zips all the way up the back so it's easy to get on. The zip is in white as well, which I quite like. Um, just that it's all monotone. And yeah, I really like the quality of this. The feel of it, I think it's incredibly well made. It was $15.99. Next up, I've got a bit of a pop of colour, which I love at this time of year. It's this kind of like burnt orange rust kind of colour, terracotta orange. Um, so as you can see, it's just an off-the-shoulder bardo style stretchy top that fits really, really nice with this like ruffle detailing along the top and bottom. I've got it in a size medium and it's a little bit loose. Um, it's not too big though. I think because it's quite a short body, I wanted to go for a medium. It fits fine. Um, whether or not I would have sized down in hindsight, I don't know. It's just a little bit loose along the top, but you know what? It's comfy then. It still fits. It still wears nice. Would definitely recommend this. And it was $17.99. Okay, so next I'm seeing more lace, more crochet in white. So next up is this. This is going to be one that's going to be easier to show you on. But essentially, it's a little white lace crochet top uh, with little sleeves as well. And it's cropped and it ties around the middle. So it literally is that. You literally put it on as if you're putting like a cardigan on and you knot it in the middle as tight as you like, as loose as you like. And the sleeves and everything are all in this same crochet design so I think this is a really pretty summery kind of top that was priced at $14.99 so I think it's great value for money it's really really well made it's all branded up with Lupsona tags and yeah I really like it again so impressed with this brand really really happy with it and can't wait to wear that towards the summertime but also I could wear it at this time of the year on like a night or evening out for dinner with like maybe some high-waisted faux leather pants, something like that. So yeah, love that. Okay, so next was the only item that I was a bit meh about. Not because I don't like it, but just because it's not, it's not like, yes, that's my style. It's like, yeah, it's okay, that kind of thing. Um, it's essentially this crop top and midi skirt set with these hoop de detailing along the bottom but it also comes with the string that you have to like feed through yourself, which is probably why I'm a bit like meh, because when it's a bit of a DIY type outfit, I'm a bit like, mm, I pay for it to come made, not to have to make it myself. Um, but yeah, it also looks a little bit big for me. Um, so we'll, we'll try and make it work. The straps are really well made as well. So even though they're tiny spaghetti straps, I'm confident that they're not gonna come off or come loose. Um, so that is the top half, the like crop top, and then the skirt is very similar, same material in this kind of like tan coloured faux suede material with the zip 
or loop detailing. Is that at the bottom or at the top? It's actually at the top, sorry. So I've just looked at the picture and the way that they do the lace is they um, actually kind of lace the pieces together but you could wear the lace throughout just the top and throughout the bottom if you want them as complete separates but they lace them together in like a zigzag material so that's how I'm going to do it to show you what it looks like on. I think if it had been in a different colour I would have loved it like if it had been in white and especially as now I know the thickness and quality of it I know that white wouldn't be absolutely fine not sheer at all um so yeah if it had been in a white or even a black i would have loved it but that's just because that's the color comfort zone that i'm in if it's neutral and monochrome love it i do still like the earthy tones but this brown kind of color i'm a bit like meh about i'm not in love with but as an outfit and if you like this colour, then I think it's a great piece, especially for like autumn nights out. And that was $20.99. What's the girl called on Instagram that I absolutely love? You know, if ever you try and think of a name, I go through the alphabet. So it's A, A, B, 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 C, 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 D, E, F, G, H. Does it begin with H? Yes, it does. It's Hildy. Hildy? Yeah. If you know who I'm talking about, you'll know exactly what I mean when I show you this dress because it's very her style. She's gorgeous. A gorgeous blonde oh, Instagram queen. This lace crochet dress, maxi dress, cute little body. I actually have a body very similar to this, um, but without the dress part. So essentially the dress is that same sort of crochet pattern and it's a maxi dress so it goes all the way to the floor and the body underneath kind of like has built in like knicker style. It's not a thong, however, it doesn't fit me perfectly. So I would be comfortable wearing this maybe on holiday, um, maybe like for a summer holiday in the sun, just strolling around during the day or for an evening meal. But, you know, it is like my bum's on show a little bit. So it is a bit like, mm. I love it. I think it's really, really well made. Apart from that fact that the body just is a little bit ill-fitting on me personally. Uh, but it might fit you fine. So I got this in a size medium. It was $29.99 US dollars. So for a full maxi dress like this, I think it's so pretty. Do you know what? Without the body part, maybe, or even if you want to rock the body, then fine. But as a cute little um, beach wedding dress, I think this would be really pretty for. So if you're on a real budget for a beach wedding, I think this could be quite a nice piece. But maybe like with a bit more of a skirt or layer underneath. But yeah, I, I just think it's so pretty. It's so delicate so well made this whole crochet lace thing with these cute little cap sleeves i just think it's so flattering so pretty so feminine and girly and so expensive looking as well 29.99 that was in a size medium love it so that is everything that i picked up on this little haul video well i say little it's probably quite a long one to be fair <laughs> a little sneak peek into the new year i'm thinking of doing my sunday video every week as a weekly vlog let me know what you think to that. I love watching vlogs. I get hooked on them. So I love to be able to create them myself with like me, Tom, my family, uh, my friends, and just generally showing you what I get up to in the week and uploading that on Sunday. So let me know what you think to that idea. Let me know if you'd be interested in watching it. And as for now, I will leave all my social links down below along with any links to products that I've shown you in this video down below if I can find them so you can shop them yourself. And until next time, I will see you very shortly. Bye guys. So today, I haven't even introduced the video yet. I just love the fact that my subscriber count, uh, that my subscriber crap count, oh, I can't speak. So I actually, so, so um, I'm gonna, I, so I thought, so, so <coughs> excuse me one second, probably about six, six maybe. So I'm thinking of an Ikea or any, I'm just going to let this car go past. I was thinking along the lines of my grey Monica Monica Um the bookshelf sort of, they're all, they're all pretty, um, oh my god my mind always goes blank whenever I'm filming these videos. When I try and describe clothes it just goes blank. Um, but they did have other colour, but they look like Penny, Penny Four dress. <laughs> Okay, next item. Let me just do it up. What size did I get it in? I don't know what size I got it in. 
to watch this. When you have to get like a, when it's a bit of like, oh, kind of uh, caps there on the sleeves and then bells a little bit into another cuff along the bottom. That is a shite description, sorry for my French. You're on. Mm. Yes, I filmed it today, that's why it's 